give me a dozen healthy infants, well formed, and my own specified world to bring them up in. And I will guarantee to take anyone at random and train him to become any type of specialist. John B. Watson John B. Watson, 9th of January 1878 until 2nd September 1958 Famous for Little Albert Experiment Condition an 18 months old boy to feel rats. In the early part of the 20th century, psychologists John Watson and Rosalie Rayner set out to teach a baby boy called Little Albert to fear white rats using the principle of classical conditioning. This is a film of their work. The film shows several phases of their study. First, as you see here, the investigators demonstrated that prior to conditioning, Little Albert had no fears of any animals, including, of course, white rats. For your information, classical conditioning is a type of biorhythm first demonstrated by Russian psychologist Ivan Palov in the 1890s. John Watson endeavoured a repeat classical conditioning on a young emotionally stable child with the objective of inducing phobias in the child. He was interested in trying to understand how children become afraid of animals. Watson hypothesized that although infants do not naturally fear animals, if one animal succeeds in arousing fear, any moving furry animal thereafter may arouse it. Albert showed no fear of any of these items during the baseline test. Watson and Rayner were unable to attempt to eliminate the boy's conditioned fear because he moved with his mother shortly after the experiment ended. Some envisioned the boy growing into a man with a strange phobia of white furry objects. The story does not have a happy ending. Behaviorism related to language learning. Behaviorist theory is the habit formation theory of language teaching and learning, reminding us the learning of structural grammar. Language learning is a mechanical process leading the learners to habit formation. Using behavior risk theory in the classroom can be rewarding for both students and teachers. Behavioral change occurs for a reason. Students work for things that bring them positive feelings and for approval from people they admire. Relieves observable behavior and describes several universal laws of behavior. Its positive and negative reinforcement technique can be very effective. Often used by teachers who reward or punish student behavior. Often utilized to help children learn new skills. 
used in many situations ranging from parenting to education. Weakness, grammatical overextension, such as rule formation of past tense ed. Imitation to the less ideal speech. Behavior measured may not be a true picture of understanding. <laughs> 